what is going to be LG with SMGs, and they're getting aggressive as a result. Oh, the timing almost worked against Moose, but you can see them just cleaning up. It's down to just two already here as LG storms out onto the B site. It seems as though the playbooks are so similar for both of these teams. Right now, though, Chemicals on his rotation is going to be the last one standing. Very low HP. Should be mopped up right now by Stellar to confirm that guilt and try to fight back and forth. Looks like LG is going to be grouping up outside the showers, and just like that, JC Stani finds two. Nature is there with the backup as well. The Sentinel main and IGL for Immortals backs up his compadre and cuts LG down to just two remaining players. Nature is still in position in the showers and almost has the timing right. That's a one-two punch. He's insistent on playing towards showers. They're having a hard time dealing with his position. The rocket comes out, but no! I believe chat would call that a Rosa ult. Sorry, Sabrosa. <laughs> just, it's, that's what they say. I gotta go with chat here. The rocket lands, but it's a little too far away, so it doesn't deal enough damage to take down the target. And as a result, we Jump find ourselves in a four-on-four. Four, and nature eventually does go down, but still, they've lost sight control. Thief is just going to charge in with running back. Had the dart in his belly, doesn't care. Runs right into the raise. Now, JC Stani is still holding this line. We've seen him hit some crack angle shots like that before. Doesn't hit the one on the target in showers, but does end up responding with some fire Love towards it. Thief. And I like the port to get out of dodge. Yep. Now he's low safe. HP, got to change positions. They did a couple of trades for the showers, Mark, and at this time, he, like you said, for him teleporting back he's from the moving. shadows down towards pipe, he's also faster on a rotate to help their that Phoenix towards this A side. So this is going to be big for them right now. Your boy Dre is going to try to get something done here. As they're going to probably let them into the site and try to see if they can get a plant in. But I, I like his initial holds here for JC Stani towards showers. Oh my goodness, the position works out so nicely for JC Stani, who's going to find four. But like you said here, Bach, there, there's some two, there's two players right now that are shining. And speaking about Sean up before, he's going to try to get onto the four too, because he's like, hey, everybody's taking all the action. I want some too. He gets a triple of his own. And the two players I wanted to mention, one of them just got into the board here. That's JC Stani all over this map right now. The other one for me is going to have to be Nature for sure. And LG so far doesn't seem to have a response to this. As Stellar is trying to... That is working out so well. Jump peaks current coming in from the backside of the bin. You can see the ult being popped as well. This gangsta's going to get two. That's crazy. There's a responding ult coming in from Moose who's trying to line it up and will actually take down Gangsta. So there is vengeance for Moose, <laughs> but realistically speaking, Gangsta's ult was just a little bit more powerful, taking out two players. Not something we see a whole lot with the Sova ult. Yeah, it's actually pretty hard to hit those two, right? The elevation's different from uh, the elbow side into Hookah. So for uh, the defenders of Immortals, Gangsta still hitting two there into Hookah is still very good. Yes, he died, but at least they have a one-man advantage here for the Immortals as they make that too. Chemical's gonna drop a proto is trying to go for that body peek towards uh, Octagon and to run it back trying to clear out the side but it's Stellar going to work as well. Now as he comes back from the run it back Stellar drops shot up. So it's even up on the two versus two. They have tuna control. Nature's already rotated from the spawn side but they also have a crossfire set up from JC Stani who gets headshotted by Stellar as well. So that's a triple for him. He's taking the round onto his back for LG but now after the trade Moose avenges Stellar and Thief has snuck up short. They have no idea that Thief has done this. And if Thief can get into the backside of spawn and potentially find some kills on these players Chemicals rotating in, waiting, that could be huge. But look, they, they got to be aware of this. Yeah. yeah, there's the clear. Chemicals was posted on that the whole time. So they, seeing that they're pushing towards showers, the weakness was going to be towards short A. They still read up perfectly here on their rotation for Immortals. And JC Stani just lines up three into the showers. Easy one, uh, as they were just trying to take that control. So one more to go. It's going to be a proto, unfortunately, unfortunately dropping to map control. But now it's going to be shot up, already rotated towards elbow again. They're dropping out. He hears them dropping into the sands, but he does not capitalize on that win versus Moose. Camera's still up, though, so they know the plan is coming for sure. Left. Moose is trying to make his way towards the elbow, and even Gangsta. It's from one portal to another, and he goes with the Hunter's Fury. It does tag for a bit, but it's still a two versus two, and Chemicals from the spawn side are proto to fall. But you still have the last player to go. Moose, he does have the Hunter's Fury as well. That's why he's playing so far back here towards the B side. But as they clear out, the Recon Dart, Trying to look at the site. The kill is going to happen for Gangsta and still very doable for Moose now. It is going to be 
a fourth kill, looking for an ace, a tap, but Chemicals does have the op. He's going to try to maybe push forward here as you're canceling, actually, on to the second shot. The recon guard, the op, and it's going to be Chemical that wins that one versus one in the end. Moose a little bit impatient into that one versus one, thinking that Chemicals was sticking. Single bind game they've played in this tournament. It's a little bit concerning that they would decide to make this the number one map in the series. You see how difficult it could be right now. The boom bot, unfortunately, to kill your boy Dre. Oh, Chemicals with a close range onto Stellar. And now they're running back to try to get information to the curveball outside the smoke. And a proto finally tries to get a kill or capitalizes on a kill on the JC Stani, but you saw it right there at the side. So Immortal sealing that deal into the first half, taking a lead nine to three. As this round though, it's a back and forth for them to rush out for the Immortals towards short A with a couple of frenzies, of course, the curveball from Thief, but it's still gonna be the paint shells for the kill. Yeah, that curveball goes out, but the shots just aren't where they need to be. Your boy Trey. Somehow oh, his ample time with the Frenzy before being taken out. A Proto surviving as well, and now it's all down to nature from distance with a Frenzy. And there's targets waiting on the other side. Nice dink shot as the peak comes through. And we'll scoop back around and try to grab that spike. Yeah. Both players in the A site, there's an opportunity to get a plant elsewhere if he can get up and get this spike in time. You can see them in a position that could potentially shut that down. But again, remember that damage that was dealt. All of a sudden, that dig shot that came through was huge, and there's nature again. Moose, that's from their Phoenix, but back through the port goes one. Not sure what that's going to do to this team's defense. If you've got the Cypher going all the way around on the play. You're watching the defense, though, fall here, as again, this is not exactly a great buy coming out from IMT. This is a bonus round with SMGs mostly deployed, and they've got a four-on-three advantage and an opportunity to upgrade as well. Not exactly the level of resistance you'd hope to see from LG, and that's down to just one remaining. Uh, it's Moose who's by himself with a Vandal and realizing the gun is exactly too valuable in hand. And I'm interested to see in that in that replay what really happened from that teleporter sound because I was trying to pay attention to what was happening from a proto Same. point of view. Because when you look back at the minimap, and oh, well, let, let's talk about it a bit. Let's see if you can save his weapon. No, it's not going to happen. So map point here for Immortals, but just to get back onto that if needed. But for the rest, from that teleporter sound, it forced LG out of their positions where the angles wash and they were backstabbed on a different angle. Standing More specifically ahead. from showers and then after from heaven signs. So well done here for Immortals. The really dominating this first half, as we've mentioned before. And LG, they still don't have a, an answer to this first map. You know, this roster is reminding me of the old Immortals roster with uh, Dicey and Asuna when they were also incredibly good on yep. Bind. It feels like that trend has continued regardless of who's playing <laughs> in the five-man squad. Uh, they always had a strong dynamic on this map. Mm -hmm. And if anything, it feels almost stronger right now with the way that they're playing. Incredible stuff from IMT. And it looks like this round isn't starting off any better for LG as Stellar is executed by chemicals from range. There's a shot coming in from nature as well. The Hunter's wow. Fury being used as well as a showstopper. And this is pretty much all but done. The three remaining players stuck in spawn, having to fight back towards some players who are already waiting for the chemicals. is spraying away, and everyone wants the kills. <laughs> they are so bloodthirsty. They're charging Dude. in. Shut up's going to get a jumping classic at the end. A nice little one way cages that just holds back from the back of the site, plays it from the bolt house, and spots the feet and tries to spray it. But this round, though, the action's happening towards A side instead, which shot up, opening it up again. It is going to be the Immortals taking the upper hand, but they have managed to do some severe damage from uh, LG onto Immortals' jet. But also, you have the raise really low. So, LG, uh, let's see what to do from this. But Immortals, they're, they're taking this map control early. Just to give you an idea of how good IMT is on this map, they've played it eight times Correct. in this qualifying. They played it in the open and in the closed qualifier. And, and they're undefeated. Time. Yeah. They only, they only had a double-digit opponent in one map. It was against Cloud9 Blue. They beat Big Frames, Elevate, Cloud9, Sentinels, Envy, Xset, Gen G. That's pretty impressive, <laughs> to say the least. Now, LG, not on that list. So there's still possibilities here as... The pistol round is a rededication back towards B. There's one still sitting in hell, gunned down pretty quickly by JC Stanny. The player in heaven also taken out. So both afterlifes currently not an option here for LG. As it's now down to just two remaining players, Moose is back up in heaven trying to retake as well as a Proto who's by his side in the trusty Cypher roll. Dink shot's coming out, but it's not enough as a Proto survives, as does Moose. And they find two kills each. 
So now it's down to a two on two. This is winnable here for yeah. LG. Gangsta is so low on HP too. So both Sova is really low for both teams, but it seems as though the health advantage is pretty even too. Both of them jumping out from the balcony, but unfortunately it's going to be the frenzy close range instead. We're playing on sidewalk just behind the wall, ready to peek any moment. There's target right around the corner, has to go for it soon, but no. The call doesn't come out and the proto just kind of gets blindsided, shot in the side of the skull. Now a retake is already starting to happen as players have already made it out onto the site. The plant in the corner, you can see the bullet starting to pour through the wall a little bit, but it's been reduced down to one. Now that's a nice paranoia because look at where they're at, but they can duck back behind the wall and you better believe Stellar is not happy because he knows that- Looking at Immortals, it's still going to be a very slow round. They're still trying to take this mid control, although they know that LG is going to be on a low buy this round. We see a couple of shares coming out and it's just going to be uh, them sweeping up here towards this cat control, towards back, uh, back on on the B side, and there you go. Oh, Proto oh, finally swings oh, oh, oh. out. Those are the kills that we want, and he lands them with the swag. So that's two to fall, a three on two. Immortals looking to rotate back towards A. A Proto Sheriff at times can be so disgustingly clean, and that's one of those instances. Chemicals pops the glass. Stellar can't keep his eyes in both directions. Tries to go for the 180, but it doesn't work out. Now a Proto has upgraded from the Sheriff to the Vandal. Planted. And we've seen some pretty solid Vandal work as well. Most specifically, a clutch yesterday on Bind. Has to watch out for the Al drones flying high and through the sky. Will it get around the corner to spot him? Yes. So he's not only going to get a recon dart, but gives up the position and honestly gives up any chance he had at making this work. So you can see him running away, saving the rifle and taking it across the map to bring into play into the next round. Nice high camera as well, just in case he can catch them pushing their way through. He's going to hide on the site. Chemicals is coming in through spawn, but it looks like the rest of the team is favoring a different direction of play. Gangsta's already back in spawn bottom mid. You've got JC Stani as well, working his way towards B main. A Proto has to be careful. There's the tailwind that comes through. Somehow this spike still hasn't detonated. A Proto's got to keep himself alive. Finally, the detonation <laughs> comes through, but at the last possible second before this one, We'll see if LG can try to find some consistency here against a team who is impressing constantly. Ooh. Now, Stellar picks up a big kill in mid onto Shot Up. That's the Reyna going down, and that's a big part of this attacking side's approach. Yep. That was the Al Jones that came out there from Moose, and it allowed Stellar to actually push out towards Kench Bench. But Thief also holds up on the Catwalk side, so that's two headshots onto Chemical and also onto Gangsta. So this slow take towards mid was fully denied by LG again off that Al Jones. So if you force the last two players just to push towards A main, it's only one to go. It's Nature with the spike. He's full HP, full armor, does have a Vandal. He's looking for the angled shot, but it's going to be your boy Dre with the off angle in that Vandal to B side, but unfortunately, like you said, Moose has rotated out, so Chemicals pushed towards that spawn. He's cutting our rotation. He hears the footsteps, but a Proto again is holding his ground on that sidewalk. The nice miss connects it on to your boy Dre, but Moose is there for the trade-off. Only three seconds left. This round comes back in favor of LG. We're just trying to take Gangsta down, who still gives his hand towards B main. Gets a kill to just hurt some economy, but it's still going to be LG. Of one. Now they know there's two players there. So they know there's one towards the door, and they know there's one playing towards Garden. And But Shop's able to go in and just swing. Ooh. There's the dismiss to get away. And just like that, they have sight control as they try to take control of Cat, though. They still have to deal with Stellar, who has been a thorn in their side. A Proto has arrived Ooh. as well. A Proto's going to find one more. And just like that, a Proto gets three on the round. Let's see what they can do. LG set up for the defense. You've got Thief on sight who's looking to pick up some steam here. Thief has played so well for this team in the past. Will find two. Nice shot coming in from JC Stanny, but just like that, it's over. Real quick, they shoot the paint shells. He's about, and Gangster's going to be able to watch this flank. So Thief has to be aware of this catwalk, and he looks at it. He fake clears it, but Gangster whips the shot. Now we're battling through the walls, and Thief does get that frag, and our proto runs into the site. That's another triple kill for him. There's only one more to go, and I saw a knife come out. I don't know if they thought that they were all dead, but thankfully, Thief was there to get the last kill. They will get the defuse too. And that was a much harder to hold in the end for Immortals. Doesn't really seem to care. and Doesn't really have a circumstance or requirement for purchasing it. Just wants to use it. That's the way that it is. Thief is going to get aggressive over towards short. Or excuse me, towards long A. And it results in his demise. Meanwhile, Shot Up has snuck up on Cat as well. They're going to use the Shock Dart, which takes out the glass. That allows Shot Up to push in without taking a shot. But it doesn't matter. There's one still waiting there. Stellar. Going to... Find the follow-up. It's down to a three-on-three. Three. They do have sight control. They've got the spike there. Stellar is still in heaven. The rest of the team is starting to rotate over. They're all going to be coming in from heaven right now. 
And that was a big neural theft, though. So they know where all the positions are for the attackers on this pulse plant. Low HP is going to be Chasey Sunny getting walled at the same time from the, uh, from the heavens into the generator. Gangsta repositioning himself, but the Owl Drone is going to make it easier for Apoto, who continues to be a king on this retakes. Nature now on a one versus three. The turret is going to come out. The spike is not yet to be diffused. A smoke looks like it got blue here towards the entrance, but he puts a nanostorm on the ground. And that's going to run down that clock just for a bit. Nature trying to move forward, trying to spray us. It's getting pinged. He makes it a one versus one. He's still spraying desperately. Back to the classic. And he does get the kill off this guy, Stellar. And it's going to be Nature getting that clutch. Push comes through to this B site. You wanted a group push? It's going to be a group push for LG instead. But that's some Nano Storm that's going to do some heavy damage. That's a first to fall. Make that a second. Falling into the boat house, using the angle, using the range to their favor. But it is going to be a trade off from LG and Immortals, leaving only a proto with the last man standing. And it's going to be JC Stani from down towards the site, up to the site. Trying to move into position. They know there's one around the corner. There's the shadow step to get away from that one. So good move. And then, oh, he <laughs> tries to go right back. And then Proto is like, that's cute and all, but uh, we're already here, yeah. Romy, sorry. Spike's gonna be planted and it will be LG with site control yet again. Three players remaining here for IMT. What do they try to do to get back into the site? This time, the firepower for LG is a lot more powerful than what they brought into the last couple of rounds, so it's going to be way harder for them to get past this with just a couple of SMGs, stingers, and the like. But shot up, quick work coming out, at least gets one. There's a proto as well, dropping another. It's LG who survived with opportunity to find one more, and that's got LG reeling. They're trying to find an alternate strategy. Now, this nade should be on the money if the shot isn't. And not really much that JC Stanley can do in that scenario. Yeah, and they knew because of that, the paranoia came in from left. Catwalk side, take control of mid again. Uh, we talked about the, the dart that came out, the recon dart towards A main, but Chemicals does get the shot onto Moose. Now you want to come back towards the A side again because there's less utilities on the A side. It's going to be Gangsta, the one that's going to try to stop them, but he gets ruled over instead by Thief. For 13 seconds left on the clock before we get the plant down. It is a three on two. They have a lockdown, and I think the knives are yeah. still available, though, for uh, Jets. So that means Chemicals and Nature could still get something done here. Full kit for utilities for Killjoy 2. You're gonna see. You're probably gonna see that lockdown utilized right over here on short. It's yep. really difficult to get away from. They have to go after this. They have to charge to try to kill it. That's the only res uh, responsible result. And you can see them trying to go for it. They're trying to charge towards. They shut the door though. So Smart. even though it's gonna get one, they get one away who goes into wine cellar. And now they have to deal with this player who's backside. But they really have to worry about the player over towards Amy. They know that one got away. Stinger does come out. Now the detain's gonna wear off. Really well played from five men pushed towards his B side, off a of recon dart most likely, and here it comes the recon dart towards the back of the side, pushing in as LG gets the first kill. There's the ult as well coming out from Moose Pulse after Pulse onto the site. Shot up goes for the dismiss. There's a Leer coming out as well. Not able to survive in that scenario though. Just too much coming towards him. A Proto is right around the corner. Has to keep his head on a swivel and just can't quite get the 50-50 right. Was trying to watch spawn, was trying to watch market. Here's the footstep, starts to turn back. There's the peak that comes through. Moose is still in B main though. And JC Stunny's gonna say, I'm just gonna ignore Moose. Gonna try and work my way up sidewalk. The peak's gonna come through momentarily, so he has to go up onto that little ledge to avoid the door. Coming out from market, has to be careful. There's targets coming in from all angles. Thief goes for the swing. The dismiss as well, but it doesn't last very long. So there's JC Stanny with the punish. It doesn't matter, that's two quick kills that gives LG a massive advantage. Stellar wants to get out of B main, potentially port away from this one, decides not to. As a proto is there and present, it's fallen down onto Gangsta who has to keep his head turned back towards B main. Now they have to exit B main. There's no one on the site. They're both sitting in B main, and there's the recon dart as well to give away their positions. Gangsta gonna get this one to halfway, potentially tries to. They pull off as you see this is the peak coming through from sidewalk. Gangsta still in position, has to switch to the sidearm. Oh, Jumping classic okay. headshot, not gonna do enough damage. LG, 12 right. On your board, Dre inside the site. That from the shadows probably was gonna go towards Bolt House just to, make, uh, just to ensure that we have an anchor player in the end as well. But now map point into the second one. A proto opens it up through the smoke and now also gets the neural theft. This is gonna be huge. They're gonna know where nature is at. Nature's trying to dance around the generator as it gets picked off. It's such a low bar here for the defenders as it's a four on three for LG. The plant is about to come through. JC Stein is on the top and it's gonna be now them playing turtle into the site. They're gonna be the ones that are gonna be pinched for LG now. We have them pushing it already for Immortals. That's two kills for them. Avened up on a, make that another two as a proto.
seals the deal and makes it 13 of 7 for LG. We'll see what IMT has for us here as LG is trying again to get back onto this A site. This time they're going straight for it. There's the wall coming out. Gangsta's going to spray away. Stellar with a nice response. And a Proto's going to pick one off as well. There's Jason Stanny who is hiding back behind the box. Stellar lines up too. They take over the site. This round though, they're going to try to wall up towards B. They're trying to push towards this side, towards the B side. They're even going towards the back of the site, but because through the dirt cover, we get a couple of stinger shots. Even LGB going out with the knives. That's one. That's two for two. It's a three versus two in favor of the defender's side. Instead, shot guards across the board. Spike has yet to be planted. Your boy Dre stuck by himself, about to get flanked from spawn, and it's going to be JC Stani with the kill for them, like their Achilles heel. But what we've seen thus far is that that five roster, that five rifle setup, excuse me, seems to work out quite nicely for them. Ult's being popped across the board. Gangsta gets one with the Hunter's Fury. The Showstopper was utilized and the rocket Ooh. connects as well. Gangsta now comes in and spots Thief just on the tippy top of Dark Cover. Good damage being dealt to the planter as well, but obviously there is a heal available that keeps them alive Huge. for the time being. Nano Swarm comes out. Stellar finds the kill first. So it keeps us at even strength. Two on two. Tap on the spike. Follow up smoke as well to give them more time. Your boy Dre right around the corner waiting. Sees the rifle push through the smoke first. And there's your boy. Thief. Setting up in the hallway, waiting for something to come that direction. There's the missed op shot. Things oh. are getting awkward again on the site. There's a drop in from Thief, but it doesn't really produce the success that they would hope for. Stellar has taken care of the op threat and decides to pick it up, knowing that it's at least something they need to try to utilize. Moose could have had a great flank had it not been for the alarm bot that gave away that position. So he's going to have to go up on Snowpile and jump up into window. Moving through left. Kitchen. There are players in spawn currently. They're playing this one so play patiently. Both yep. teams are. Gangsta has not moved from this position. He's still hunkered down towards Snowman. Waiting for the peak to come out. Spots the thighs first. There's the wall going in and the spike being planted. Now the recon dart does give away Stellar's position. Paranoia making things a little bit awkward. A dart in his belly as well. The man just can't catch a break. As JC Stanny comes in. <laughs> to secure the defuse here off to try and get that early oh pick. God. Now, JC Stanny has to move quick as not only does the nade come in, but a slow orb as well, making that so difficult for him to get away as a proto seriously carves apart the defense. Now, the ult's going to be popped by Gangsta, but it's not really going to hit too much. So the spike will be guaranteed here. It's five on three off of impressive entry work from a player who's typically not the entry. Typically playing Cypher, more of a support role, more of a Lurk, backline kind of player. But he doesn't seem to be phased at all with the transition into playing Raze here. Now a nice pick off coming in from the up, and there's the defender Killjoy coming out as well. Is he outside of the radius? That's the question. It's right into that back corner. Nature's going to go charging in. They take it out with the Hunter's Fury. That's brilliant. And Moose even gets a follow-up. So not only does he cancel the ult, he also gets a kill with it. And that sends chemicals flying across the map as they realize the round has been lost. You know, it's, it's round number five on the board here for LG. It seems as though LG were just very aware that that Killjoy ultimate was going to be come into play at that yeah. point. So Remaining. keeping that Hunter's Fury is very save your Hunter's Fury specifically for that ult, yeah. not just in that round, but in general, because yeah, definitely. you can kill it through anything. I feel like that's definitely yeah, like like you said, you you gotta now. They get site control yet again. It's a little bit more costly here, but LG has had no problems getting onto the A site, and Immortals has struggled at trying to retake. Now, the wall comes in. It does, does kind of derail the plans of the Boombot, who is trying to make it out towards spawn a little bit further. Nature comes out on the top side. Can't quite squeeze the bullets around the corner, so the target will get a chance to fight for another day. Stellar. Hiding back behind the big box in the corner here. Has to be careful. There's one more threat on the site. It's Gangsta, who's already found three kills on the round. Recon Dart goes high. If the peak comes out, he's going to know. Goes to take it out. There's the Shock Dart. No, it's a Recon Dart giving away the position. He's sticking it. No! The pistol does not get there in time. Timing for Jet here on the defensive side of IMT. A little bit of a surprise.
a proto trying to go on top of the Ploiler to surprise an opponent. But at the same time, if he, even if he got the kill onto Gangster Nature's right there, he sees the dash, he hears the dash, he's about to go for a huge backstab. This is good for Monos right now to secure this last round. There you go. There's that backstab, but it gets traded right away. So a timing for both teams that still makes it a women advantage for the Immortals that they're looking for a plant for B, looking to play the pulse plant positioning. And you have even your boy Dre pushing forward into the site. He gets the kill onto Gangster with that and evens up the tally on a 3-3. Shot comes out from the off, but it's off the mark. Your boy Dre sneaking past the wall and getting back on the other side. Wow. Quick kill coming out onto his counterpart, JC Stanny. Paranoia is in as well. The distance put up, and they're not able to spot him there in that position. Could have been dangerous as Chemicals has to go up vertically inside the smoke. He oh, loses no. track of his target. Nature is there with what? one at least. Thief is somehow still alive. What is even happening? But it's down to one anyway. It's okay. It's your boy Dre. One on three with a frenzy. Spike down as well. You talked about charging. They did it on both ends. Thief getting the first kill, but then the charge right after to trade things off and securing this three versus one looks good for the Immortals. Your boy Dre now spotted at the screens, looks towards the back of the site, still looks healthy on the HP after this kill on, J on JC Stani. Still very doable at this point. Doesn't have any smokes anymore. He, oh man, he walks over the Nano Swarm and doesn't shoot it down. So that means that it's an opportunity to run that clock down even more. There's that Nano Swarm to get popped, the first kill, but a perfect crossfire from Nature in the end. He the flank, Shot Up has this one coming through too. This could be multi kill potential for Shot Up. It's all down to the timing. There's the first, catches one more with the bow out, and that pretty much wins them the round. It's down to a two on four. Good luck to the players remaining on site. Oh, I was going to say, at least you have a proto alive, but now it's just Stellar. That's two kills. The heal's already down as he heal he heals himself up. He's probably going to be at about 50, 60 HP. Not much to do at this point. Even 40 on top of that. And that's yeah. shot up with that big flank that we talked about before. That's a triple kill for them. Now, it Proto spots the jet out, but a nice tailwind to get away eliminates the possibility of that being successful. There's another Aladrone coming in as the zip line is ridden. You've got JC Stanny moving into position, and with the weakened firepower coming in for LG, it's no surprise that Immortals gets onto the site the way that they do. Down to two, and with shot up in position. That vertical aim always awkward, especially with a pistol. Stellar has to go to the SMG to, to connect on one, swaps out to the rifle. Doesn't really even get a fighting. Oh, that's unfortunate for your boy Dre. Has to now shadow step out of that position just to avoid what's coming that direction. Nice ult coming in from A Proto. No Rosa ults today as the rocket is right on the money. JC Stanny wants to go up further, uses the paranoia to lead in, and that is massive for Immortals. JC Stanny now continuing that push around the corner as Stellar tries to go for the swing to prevent the spike peaking towards Long B. Nice shot, actually, over top of the box onto Gangsta. And off that kill. You're going to see Immortals go the opposite direction, not wanting to force a fight with an op, knowing that they've got better chances at taking the A site anyway. The Empress will be utilized as well. The nade could come out from A Proto to try and stop the plant. It's going to go out and do some damage to whoever is the one responsible for planting it. It's actually Reyna, who's now very low on HP, but let's not forget with Empress, a lot of self-heal available. Shop spots one around the corner, and that nade is instantly negated. JC Stanny with the kill on the Thief as well. The setup is really well done placed here for Immortals on that A site. Stellar comes through. Instead of an operator playing towards that A site, will that change moving later on? Possibly. It's a thing we've talked about before, this five rifle setup and how it works out for them. Chemicals, whose ult has at times been iffy, we'll just say iffy. Ooh! Able to pick up a kill and shot up. Just absolutely destroys a proto. Again, the back and forth nature of this game results in a round win coming in for Immortals. 12-11, one round away. General B has been iffy at times, and we've seen some good V-takes at the same point. Oh now, JC Stani gets the ult off, somehow survives long enough to take out Moose. Thief is immediately there to make sure that doesn't last too much longer. Nature spots Thief inside the smoke. Not sure if the barrel came through. There's the ult coming out. Cancels the spike placement as well. Now, Stellar has the heal and the ult available for Rez. So they want Stellar to stay alive. Desperately so. The heal is used on himself to keep him floating for a little while longer. Your boy Dre is right around the corner. There's dark cover down currently that allows Gangsta to get into this position. Spike, spike will be planted. And it's retake time. Gangsta has to be careful as the smoke's about to fade. Start to 
peel back just a bit, getting a better angle to watch them come out of spawn. Shot up from up top, able to pick off a proto, brings us to even strength. Here's the res coming out, what we were talking about, but it's an easy kill coming in for Shot up, a follow up as well. The dismiss is in, it's down to the one on one. Shot up pops his ult. It's now Reyna with Empress Live, but only six bullets left in the mag against Stellar, who's going up top. He's currently above. Oh, no! no, his magazine runs dry. Oh my goodness. Stellar.